I'm feeling goosebumps. I actually touched her. I said, you, when did you feel this? It felt like electricity in my hands. I said, did you feel this? And she said, no, no I don't feel anything. I don't know what's going on. Horrible music, and I'm having a, a, this visceral feeling. I was born in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, I'm Jewish. My parents are Jewish, everyone I know in the family, ancestors are Jewish. And uh, matter of fact, we were four pretty argumentative little kids, and my, my mother used to say, you can't even get a word in edgewise around here. And what was funny is that we all grew up to be lawyers, and um, when that happened, at one point I remember she said, well, at least I'm vindicated that I couldn't get a word in edgewise with you guys, so. But I remember with my grandmother in particular, uh, this, you know, she grew up in the old, the old country and anti-Semitism was just such a visceral part of the upbringing that she said, now you're going to school and it's uh, Christmas time of year and they're gonna do those Christmas songs. Now don't make a big deal about it, but you can't say his name. So I went in this bookstore, I was visiting my brother at the time and uh, checking out the New York Times bestsellers and there's this book, Rabbi Jesus uh, by Bruce Chilton and I, I was attracted to the title because Rabbi Jesus would not be a very common uh, title for a book, at least in my world. So I picked it up and uh, my brother came over and he says, why would you read that book? And I said, you know, Alan, come on, you know, I'm an educated woman. I don't even know who this person is. And he changed history, if nothing else, you know, so I, I'm just curious. I just want to read the book. I just want to understand a little bit more about who Jesus is. And so bought the book, got on the plane and headed back to Columbus. I sat down on the plane and um, I'm sitting in there reading my book, uh, Rabbi Jesus, and this woman kind of peers over my shoulder and says, oh, what are you reading? And I said, kind of defensively, I'm, I'm Jewish, but I'm, I'm just curious who, you know, who Jesus is. And she said, well, uh, what do you want to know? You know, I've written books about him. And I was pretty shocked. And she started talking to me about some of the books and some of the information about him. And at the end of all this, I said, you know, I'm not going to change my religion, but, you know, if I were to read the New Testament, you know, do you have one that you'd recommend? And so she recommended one to me. And then she said, and you know what, I'm going to send you my books. Uh, give me your address. Let me send you my books. During this time, uh, shockingly, my marriage of 28 years um, came to an end. Uh, and it had happened, it had been building over a long time. Uh, to me, raising my children was like the most important thing that you can do in life. I had this dream about, I think it was a, a Zephaniah passage. He will delight with you in song. Like it was, um, I just woke up one morning going, Where, what is that, where did that come from? I was by myself, this was, in the spring of that year and um, came home from work one day and took the mail in and there was this yellow package. So I opened it up and um, there was a book in it. And the book had a card and I, I actually have a card that came with the book and it said, Dear Diane, I haven't forgotten my promise to send you this book. It just has been slow in getting to you. This book is part of my life story. In the midst of great pain, Jesus walked alongside me. I have been praying that whatever you go through in your life, that he will find you and comfort you as he blessed me. Blessings and shalom, Lori Hall. Then she would, Zephaniah 317, he will delight in you with song. And I'm just like, I'm just in shock. I'm in shock at so many levels that this card and this book arrived at this time. So I called my sister, who is living out in uh, Massachusetts at the time. I said, Wendy, you are not going to believe this. And I, and I told her how this person that I didn't know sat down next to me like six months ago on the, on the plane. We're driving back and forth from Boston to Columbus. And, and, uh, and I never had spoken to her about my personal life, never said a word. I had only asked her about Jesus. And um, so I'm telling Wendy who this woman is and, I, and this card in the book, and there's like dead silence on the phone, just nothing at Wendy. And she goes, did you say Lori Hall? And I said, yes. And she said, I'm holding a magazine in my hand and it's Christian led woman and they're doing a review of Lori Hall's book. And it's this very book that she sent to me. At this moment, it, to me, it was so uh, profound that God was absolutely in my life. Late August of 2001, um, my sister and I were, were together and um, she invited me to church 
because a friend of hers was going to become a pastor. So we were going to support, I was supporting my sister, my sister was supporting her friend. So we go to a church service and uh, I was shockingly surprised at how beautiful and moving it was. And um, I have to say at the moment though, I felt that uh, I love the music. You know, this is like amazing music. And so I really, really, I got goosebumps and was really into the service, which was surprising. You know, I was a Jewish woman, I have really, not attended church before, this was good. At the end of the service, she said, I want you to meet the pastors here, and they were both Jewish. And so I talked to these two guys, they grew up in New York, and I'm just like, how? How, how do you grow up Jewish and you're a pastor in a church? It just blew my mind. There I'm standing there, so this woman came over to me and she said, may I pray for you? She takes my hands like this, she said, may I pray for you? And um, I said, I just want to understand more about Jesus, <laughs> which I, that's all I wanted. But God, <laughs> God just, he just zapped me. I feel like if there's such a thing as good electricity, it was like my body was just filled with love and, and warmth and, and electricity. It was like an electric electrical love hug of proportions I can't even imagine. And I just felt this huge sense of truth of who Jesus is. I felt it. I could feel it. And, and the person that was praying for me said, the Holy Spirit is on you. And as a Jewish woman, I have to admit, I had no idea what she meant by that. And she said, will you accept Jesus as your Messiah? After this happened, um, I'm an upstanding member of the Jewish community uh, on the board at my synagogue and had a lot of interaction with the rabbis and um, the, the, my community. And uh, the subject came up, you know, I believe in Yeshua now. And the reaction was, what happened to you? How could you do this? I was like a traitor, you know, like, what? what? How, how could you possibly, all these years, believe that, you know, after being a Jewish woman and a leader in our community, how could you believe it? Jesus is the Messiah. And um, the beauty of how this happened to me is that I was so hit with the truth of it at such a deep level that all I could answer was, with great conviction, I can't explain why, but it is true. I know it is true. I know it is true in my heart. And I have the rest of my life to read scripture and understand the why, but I know it is. It is the truth.